you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong with us With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms. Check out the No Mercy TV podcast. <clears throat> Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit, nomercytv.com. You know what time it is, man. Imagine you wake up on a Saturday morning, and the first thing you hear is that a whole bunch of bloggers that don't like you are in a <laughs> are on a channel with 200 subscribers all having a conversation about you man oh man but these be the people that you know just wake up on a saturday morning the first thing first thing the first thing like you hear niggas get on the stream and they still yawning as if they just woke up man that is pitiful <laughs> that is pathetic to be spending your saturday morning gossiping about other men in a group chat with other men no females, not a single female. There's just a straight sausage fest and people are, it's weird. It's weird in these battle rap streets. But um, yeah, man, I just gotta remember, you know, the type of people that we have in this culture nowadays. You feel me? But um, let's talk about this Cassidy and Hitman face off. Now that it's out, now that everybody got to see it, um, actually it was crazy because when I dropped my blog saying that, yo, ARP, you need to drop this shit. As soon as I hit publish, and I go to my subscriptions, I see the premiere pop up for the face off. I'm like, oh shit. All right, so they all gonna drop in the ASAP, you feel me? But um, I watched the face off, man. I watched the face off. And there was a cup, there was a lot that I noticed um in terms of the face off that I wanna say you get a different picture watching the face off itself from just watching the interviews and everybody else that was talking about it before it dropped like you know um i'm not gonna hold you i felt like with hitman i felt like hitman was trying a bit too hard to be on some some like victim shit afterwards when it was like you still contributing to the bs you understand and what i say is this right what i say is this i do feel like cassidy started it in terms of just going in a, a whole different direction because Cassidy, Cassidy is like a Harlem nigga in a way. You feel me? Like Cassidy is one of those type of people that he has that that quick retort. Like he's going to rebuttal without thinking. He's, he's accurate with some of his information. But if you get him too flustered, he's going to go into a whole different direction that you might not want to go in just because he's... He's more so focused on selling the fight and making a moment out of the things that he says where he's just going to say anything and it's going to be like, OK, if you're going to talk about this and I'm going to talk about this and he's just going to continue to escalate the situation. And um, I feel like with Hitman, the problem with Hitman is that Hitman is so much of a hothead that once you get him there, he's staying. There. You understand? So it's like if, if you get Hitman to that point. It's going to be hard to calm him down, and Hitman has to work on that. He has to work on not getting flustered by someone like Cassidy because let's keep it a buck. Like I said in my last vlog, Cassidy is not somebody to be taken serious. He's not on no level. You understand? You look at his last two battles, right? Look at the Goods battle. Goods did not take him serious, whether it's in the face-off, whether it's in the battle, um, the way Goods was clowning him. You look at Arsenal, right? Look at the face off he had with arsenal how him and arsenal the shit got heated there was a whole bunch of smds and a whole bunch of threats and all this other stuff back and forth right all that was cool arsenal battled cassidy in philly and still yoked him up still yoked him up should change out his pocket blue smoke in his face in philly he did this to Cassidy. That right there tells you that Arsenal did not take him seriously. So this is what I'm trying to show you. Between the Arsenal and Goods battle, 
you got two guys that don't take this man seriously. Hitman took him seriously. And that's where Hitman messed up. You feel me? It's just certain people, the same way we talk about these bloggers, You certain people you can't take seriously because their actions prove more. You understand their actions prove more. So when, when you talk about bloggers, right, when you talk about bloggers not showing up to events, when you talk about them um, always going with inaccurate information, they don't. They can try to defend their actions all they want, but their actions alone tell you enough about them. You understand? So with a nigga like Cassidy, his actions tell you enough. His actions tell you enough. He got yoked up and didn't do nothing. Like... What what more do, do you need to be told? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it don't matter how he try to say, oh, well, Arsenal apologized. Well, it's cool to apologize if he, if he did apologize. But there's certain people that won't get played like that in the first place, that won't get played with like that in the first place. You understand me? So, you know, um, with Cassidy, it's just like, like, come on, man. Come on. And, and Hitman, Hitman, and, and, and Hitman is not, I'm not going to say he's the, the person to blame more so, but once shit escalates, you got to know how to bring it down a little bit. You understand? Like once you choose to keep it going and that was where Hitman messed up. He kept it going. Like it's, it's of course you get a, the, the, uh, issue gets initiated, but once you decide to keep it going, then it's like, it's just up from there. Like it's the literal definition of it's up and it's stuck. Like if, it's up and it's stuck was a person, it would be Hitman Holler because like I said, once he once he gets there, he don't know how to turn off. You understand? And even even after the first uh wave of it, you know, going back and forth, when they finally sat back down, you see Cassidy staring up at ARP just like smiling. I'm like, okay, now he playing. Like you know Cassidy doing this shit on purpose. You know he doing it on purpose. You know he doing it on purpose to make it look good. And I guess, you know, it's part of his job. So that's what he's going for. Cassie don't want to fight. Cassie don't want to fight. Like, and let me tell y'all like this. All these these weirdos in my comments, these weird Cassidy fans, I think Cassidy is making these profiles himself on YouTube. Cassidy and like probably two other people are running around on every blog. They're watching every blog, seeing what people are saying about Cassidy. And then in the comments talking about, Oh, Cassidy caught a body. No, the fuck you didn't. You didn't shoot nothing. We heard the story. We heard it from Meek. We heard it from A.R. Ab, the person who was actually there. We heard it from these people. Cassidy didn't shoot nothing. So, you know, it's just like, like, son, like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, you you can't be, like, sitting up here acting like you, you tough and you're not nowhere near like that. You understand? And like I said, I personally don't have an issue with cats, but when I see stuff like this and then it's like the the, the comments on my videos, like, come on, y'all niggas is bugging. Y'all niggas is bugging, man. Dude, you know Cassie wasn't shooting nothing. You feel me? And I, I feel like when, when it's situation like this where shit do go left, like I said, Cassie ain't not doing nothing. He's not lifting a finger, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, just, just for him to be getting out of pocket like that, and he's just, just sitting up there just in, the corner, in the corner smiling at ARP like, and you could tell, like, in his mind, he like, yeah, this is what you wanted. You, you want me to sell the battle, so I'm selling the battle for you. Like, shut up. You feel what I'm saying? But um, for for me, it's just like, yo, dog, like, Hitman, you have to chill on taking battle rappers like this seriously. You can't take Cassidy seriously. Um, You're a person, like you said, we've clearly seen you be about action on numerous occasions. You got the, the situation in the barbershop where dude kept getting close to your son we got um it was something at an event where he just laid somebody out and then uh shit even the um the king of the dot situation you understand so hit hitman got enough of these situations on camera to where it's like okay we know you know that we we get it we know you're not scared of nothing you understand what i'm saying but you don't if you have to prove that Prove that to somebody that's worth it. Prove it to somebody who might really be about that the way you are. And then it'll make sense for you to go that far. But you're talking about Cassidy, bro. You're talking about Cassidy. Cassidy. He's never been nobody that's worth proving tough shit to. Like, 
the industry did never even took him that serious. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it was a dope face off. It, it, well, it was a cool face off. What this the thing? That shit wasn't about no battle rap. They didn't get the they they sold the the fight in terms of making people want to see it, but in terms of uh, <laughs> who wins and who loses, none of that really got answered like that. You understand what I'm saying? And that's really um, what would have been the the better argument, you know, just in in terms of what people want to see because you got a lot of people that think this battle is trash on paper. You know what I mean? So you know we we got to get down to the to the talent point. So you got to get down to the skill point to talk about you know who's really better and why you know what i mean like once they started talking about views and money and all that it's like that don't got nothing to do with what's going on on stage in april you know what i mean so um i know that a um rbe they always have face-offs the day before so hopefully the day before the battle these questions can get answered and it doesn't go to no extra shit. You understand? Like that. I know it's gonna be another face off. So I want I want to see those questions get answered finally. You know what I mean? But um, aside from that, man. Either way, I'm still looking forward to the battle. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's it's definitely one of Battle Rap's biggest battles. Um, even now after this face off just dropped. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is uh, this is definitely definitely one of the biggest battles in Battle Rap history. Like it's it's not. I don't even think it's close. You know what I mean? So um, we, we would have to get a, <clears throat> a top five list. I, I'll probably put that together one day. A top five list of the biggest battles and why they are the biggest battles of the culture. You feel me? Like, this is up there. This is up there with Lux and Hollow. This is up there with uh, Lux and Cal. Like, and I'm not talking about um the actual battle itself right now. I'm talking about going into it and it being such a highly anticipated thing. Like, they, they sold this fight. They sold this fight. I'm pretty sure RBE done sold like 10,000 more pay-per-views after dropping this face off. So, yeah, this this definitely going to be one of them ones to watch. So, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, how y'all felt about that face off. Um, who do y'all feel was right or wrong? Was it Cassidy? Was it Hitman? Um, who, who? Why did y'all think they were wrong? And um, let me know what y'all think in terms of the battle coming up. Who y'all got winning? You feel what I'm saying? So um, that's really it for now. I'll be back soon. You know, um, I'm definitely going to be recapping the bullpen joint later you feel what i'm saying i'm definitely gonna be in tune with that so you know y'all let me know what y'all think man and i'll highlight y'all soon no mercy trap new york shit no mercy we out of here Bow.